What's good, horror fam? It's your horror host, Sir Sturdy. And guess what? We're back with another flashback. And what I'm trying to do with these episodes is I'm just digging in the archives. Doesn't matter how old the episode is, how far, or how, you know, whatever. Because you'll see with these episodes that I'm showing, some of them are newer. And a couple may be older, maybe, maybe not, down the road. But yes, it's going to be a fun little journey where... We'll do this little intro thing for you guys, and then, boop, show the old episode. Boop, that's it. Today's The Stylist. This movie here was a good movie and a fun movie that I feel like you guys should definitely check out. The main character, Claire, goes nuts. Goes nuts in this. And just the... Like, the way it builds up, you're just like, oh, shit. Oh, shit. Keep your eyes peeled with this one. Just pay attention. Put the phones down. Put the phones down for all movies, good or bad. We got we to gotta get better with that, all of it, including myself included, especially with the bad ones, myself included. Let's just drop our phones and watch these movies. Really dive into these movies. And this, this is something I think you guys would enjoy. I know I did. I know my co-host did. It's well, well worth the watch. But, uh, you know, let us tell you about it on the episode. But before before you guys disappear, before you guys go away, I do want to show you one thing. Actually, I'm lying. I want to show you a couple things. Because there is something that's really awesome that was uh, we did on May 17th. Casters for a Cause, which is an awesome, awesome, awesome Fun, fun time. It's a charity script read of Scream. You guys know my feelings about Scream. I don't like it. But did I like doing the script read? Did I have fun with the script read? Of course. It was an amazing time. You guys definitely need to go back and check that episode out. And if you can, if you can afford it, the charity right there. Haunters Against Hate. Haunters Against Hate, which this is all sponsored by Carolina Fear Fest, which I will be there in attendance. But again, with the Hunters Against Hate, it's just helping kids with bullying and finding themselves. And you can't, anything to help the kids, anything to help the kids, right? We got to do it. If you can't afford to donate, which I un- completely understand, please share the link. Will be in the description, is in the description. Please just share the link out. If you can donate or not, please just share that link out. It's going to be live all month. Which, you know, let's do this. It's going to be live for the month of May, 2024, people. So if you're watching this two years down the road, you know. (laughs) But yeah, please, please, if you can afford to donate, that would be lovely. That would be lovely. And one more thing. One more thing. All right, here it goes. Sturdy has a pint glass for you guys in his store. It's so good. Or it's a scary good time. My fault. It's a scary good time. 16 ounce pint glass over on the Sturdy shop. Known as, known as, I'm just rambling now, people. Sturdy's shop of horror. So please go over there and check it out. And enjoy this episode. I hope you guys really enjoy this episode. But I'm going to get my ass on out of here. Hopefully I'll see some of you guys at CFF. It's going to be a grand old time. A couple days left. A couple days left. But I will see you in your nightmares. Welcome to the madness. I'm mixing it all in. Peace. Enjoy the episode. Hello, people. How's it going? How's it going? How's it going? We do. I do. I did make an intro for tonight's episode. I, okay. I, I do. All right. I was like, I got to make an intro. You see the mannequin down here. You see the mannequin right there. <laughs> you know. Had to get stylistic for this one. But, uh, James, how you doing, though, man? How's it going? Doing good, man. You know, same old shit. Different day, different day. I hear you. I hear you, man. I'm so glad it's Thursday. Although I wish it was Friday, but it's my it's my Friday. Yeah, whatever, dude. Just run it in. 
He always has, he always has to do that. He always has to do that. Okay. But anyway, people, be right back after this intro. But we are reviewing the movie The Stylist. And yeah, you're in for a treat with this one. You're in for a treat. And I have some, I have some pretty cool things that I do want to mention before we do with this review. But uh, we'll be right back. Got a client. Time to style. Do it the only way I know how. Fire and knife. Ha <laughs> ha, the stylish. I hope you guys are ready for this one. Because we're going to be taking a little off the top. Just a little off the top. But stay seated. And don't you dare run because you're next. Stay tuned. Horror Research 30. Where we review the stylist. Ha! Yeah. Welcome to the madness. Oh, it's going to be okay. Don't worry. Don't worry. It's going to be okay. It's going to be okay. Like I said, just a little off the top. Just a little off the top. Yo. Real quick, before we dive into this, just because of that intro, just a little off the top should have been said in this movie. We'll get we'll get into that very soon. But what, what I do want to say is I actually did look up some stuff on this movie for uh, IMDb. And I was just seeing the main character. I was seeing what other movie she was in. Um, well, first, actually, I actually want to talk about this movie really quick. So the actress that played her mother in this, that played Claire's mother, yep. was her... was. Uh, her the real actress. mother, yes, her real life mother, <clears throat> Dorinda uh, Townsend. Townsend. Oh, you read this too? Yep. Nice. There was that. <coughs> this is actually <coughs> from a short film. It's based on a short film. That's cool. From an anthology, watch if you called Watch If You Dare, which came out in 2018. You know, I heard about that. I heard about that. And uh, another cool thing dare. about it is. Most, excuse me, most of the characters from the short film are in this film as the same character, same role, and I believe like the main that's cool. I like how they did that. Yeah, yeah. So that's some pretty, <coughs> excuse me, those are some pretty cool things about that. And then she's in another movie, movie called The Darkness, The Darkness of the Road. And I was like, you know what? I'll pull this one up so everybody can see it on IMDb from IMDb. Uh, right here. There's no audio to share. I'm gonna share that. Is she also in like a zombie movie or something? She might be. She oh no, like... it was a werewolf. It's a werewolf movie. Werewolf. I forgot what it's called. But I'm like, yeah, I want to see this. So, uh, the darkness of the road. I'm gonna figure out a way to end it. Hellbender. She was in Hellbender. Mm-hmm. Oh shit! I didn't notice that. Last breeder, last radio call. I don't know why I read it like that. Last radio call. Hold on. There's one I seen. Oh, Wolf Mother. Still here. I, don't even know, I never. I don't even know what it's about. It, she's sitting there with a gun. So oh, I don't right. know. It's probably an action movie. Oh shit. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's like a thriller type. She's, good actress. She's not bad at all. She was awesome in this. Like she playing crazy, yo, phenomenal. Mm -hmm. Seriously, like not even trying to be funny, but she played crazy, freaking great. The widow. It's like a weird crazy. It's not like she lost yeah. her mind, like writing on the wall and everything cut crazy. She no, just, but she was like, no, she was crazy. Like, in, she was just. She was so, so, so here's the thing. There's something about her life that something happened. She didn't grow up raised right or something. I think they mentioned it. I forgot what it was. But well, 
Supposedly, like, like her mother, her father wasn't in her life, she said, and her mother, from what she was saying again, her mother ended up dying as a dr- she was a drunk. And she said, as far as like the hair thing goes, like I guess her mother was a hairstylist and she would change her okay. hair every single day and she never knew which which person she would get, you know, as far as her mother goes when she comes home. So basically this main character has like a personality disorder. She's jealous of other people, so she basically cuts her What's hair and like, wears it and she wants to be them. No, 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 no. She doesn't just cut their hair. She well, the scalp them. them. And wears their yeah, scalp. Yeah, she scalps them. Yeah. Like a little bit more blood than I thought there was gonna be. It's yes. like the dripping of the uh... listen. I gotta say something right now. All right. So far, man. <laughs> I gotta I gotta admit something, James. You ready for this? Wow. <laughs> Who'd you say? Uh oh. No, so yeah. far. This crazy woman wheel, cycle woman wheel. Uh, oh, it's awesome. Mojadas Locas is a really good wheel. You want to know why? Because we hardly see movies like this. So we're more intrigued. That's probably true. And the funny thing is, is like, just the type of people we are, not trying to say anything crazy or whatever. But we look for any type, as far as like when horror comes, we look for anybody or anything to be the villain and be like that brutal horror character so it's dope when it's anyone you know what i mean so like, this was dope man. the color like my wife was pointing out because we were watching it together she loved the colors in this especially with, like the lighting and stuff like like this yo the colors were so dope which this honestly it was, yeah it was well like, done. I, I want this on a shirt i want this on a shirt because this is dope it can either be this way or the poster where you have over there but i want that on a shirt a black shirt be fired. I'm gonna have, have to make that happen. <laughs> <clears throat> the stylist can you even make it with the one with me. Like, you know what? I can even make the shirt like this. Man, just like that. Oh, we didn't rate. We didn't get a rating. Okay. What's your early rating? I'm gonna give it a seven. I'm with you. I'm with you, and that's. That's what we gave the last the last movies, movie. Sorry, but there's both where they're both sevens. So no, it was it was well enough told. Mm-hmm. Like you don't have to have extreme kills. Like we've seen no, not at all. A few. So you just know she's like she's fucking crazy. She's losing I, her mind. I wish she's jealous. You, know, I don't know what the thing is. Her life don't look bad. No, for one, she she's a very good looking woman. Yes. She has a good job. Yes. And, and I'll say a really good job because it seems like she's like the best stylist there. And if that's yeah. if that's the case, like she has it to the point to where she'll have clients that will book out weeks, months for her. Like that'll just yeah. wait. Like there, there, there's clients that are that like there's people, this is male and female too, when it comes to getting their hair their hair taken care of, that are that dedicated to that one particular hairstylist, mm-hmm. barber whatever you want to call them all across the board to where they're just like, I'm not going to anyone else. Um, shit. They're going to be gone for four months. Well, I guess I'm not getting my hair touched. I, fuck it. I guess I'm going to get my hair out. With me, I'm like, I don't know. I guess I'm going to get my hair cut by someone else then. Fuck. I think we... Yeah. yeah. But no, it's well done. It's uh, simple. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, like I It's would, crazy I, though. Like, how, like with the kills real quick. She didn't like the every day she goes into the same coffee shop where the, mm-hmm. the counter woman knows her order by heart. By heart, yeah. So I thought, okay, that's part of her normal routine. She's not gonna fuck with that 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 timeline, let's say. She's mm-hmm. gonna go out of the timeline and kill like a fucking stranger. Yep. But then she started getting like crazier, I think, and she was like getting the taste for it. Like she'll get jealous. She's looking at her, giving her coffee. She's in a good mood and everything. She's like, ooh. Her life looks great. I want to be her. Yep. And she goes and fucking kills her. Yep. And cuts her hair off. Just the whole oh, she, top of the head off. She didn't. She didn't get her success, successfully. Because that. Oh, yeah, you're right. Coffee chop. Coffee chop. The coffee shop chick. Actually, no. Let's start. Let's let's back up. Let's back up. Let's back up. Yes. Let's back up later. Let's start from the beginning with this one. So we have the main character. Her, this is Claire, right? 
Claire. Yep. This is Claire, main character. And she, you just, at first you see her, she's in a salon, she's doing someone's hair. And then someone comes in, she's doing this last girl's hair. And, you know, they're talking, drinking, the one girl's drinking wine, they're talking, blah, 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 blah. And all of a sudden, the girl passes out. <laughs> and you know this because she passes out. And she's oh, like, no, there's a little bit before that. So she was talking to her a lot, telling her life. First, it was simple. So the girl was like, oh, okay. Like, she was kind of boring, like, oh, I just work. And the girl was like, yeah. oh, you can work from home with that job. And be a little, like, like going back and forth. But then all of a sudden, the girl in the chair opens up. No. Oh, that's the uh, that's my boy toy. I'm cheating. So now in her head, she's exciting now. She goes, I wonder how it is to live that life, to be her. Yep. Where she has a husband at home with a kid and she has a boy toy. Yep. So then, then it starts going what you're saying. But she got yeah, drugged she, her. She put something in the wine. Yo, she she's just was, like out cold. The, the way she pulled off her yeah, that was, I like that was a great scene. Impressive, very impressive, very sneaky, very sh- creepy, very strange, seductive in some ways, in some weird, strange ways, like the way she was acting. We'll talk about nice, uh, we'll, we'll talk about the vibrator in a little while. Let's save that for, for a little bit, though. Let's save that for a, yeah, yeah. No, let's save that save part. That. I remember that. Let's part. Save that. Uh, <laughs> they, they had just the right amount of blood. Yeah, they did. They didn't make it like you can't see anything. You know how sometimes they gush and just blood everywhere. Yeah. They showed it where you can see the blood, <laughs> but you can see the outline of the like. Yep. Oh yeah. The skull is, I'm like, damn man. I was like, okay, that's a cool scene. I like that scene. I mean, that might be my favorite scene. You can, if you go back to the first kill in the barber chair, if you look like around the floor, you see all the blood dripping, and you, you see the blood dripping, and there's so much blood down there, dude. Do you hear the blood hitting in the blood puddles, which was awesome? Yeah, which and when she's holding the hair, it's dripping off the bottom. Yep, and it was that looked cool. Huh? And another thing was, it was it was in a weird way, it was beautiful. Like, mm. oh man. I know that made me sound like I'm fucking psycho, <clears throat> but I, I don't mean it like that. What I mean is it, it, it just like the way the story was told and like, like you were saying, there was, <coughs> excuse me, there was just enough blood, but there was blood like in the right scenes, like the perfect scenes. <coughs> Damn. Excuse me. Like in the right scenes, the perfect scenes, there was just enough blood. And I mean, just the just just thinking about it, just jumping to the end of the movie really quick. If you remember the wedding scene, I'm not gonna even cut it up too much. But you remember the wedding scene? All I'm gonna say is, you remember the wedding scene? You remember everyone's face? You remember the little girl smiling, the little girl's hair that she did because she didn't understand what's going on. She didn't see everything. She didn't. You know what I mean? Yep. <laughs> and I like how, in that sense, she still had her innocence, but everybody else knew what was really going on. Yep. And just. Oh my! This 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 movie really told a wild, crazy story. It, it got to the point where we felt bad for her, in a sense. Yeah, <laughs> like yeah, the, the, like with the friend, the friend with with the friend Olivia. That it felt it started seeming like she was just using her. I say yes and no. I, say, but I don't think so. I think they she was really like talking to her as a friend, like they were like real friends. But she started getting. Because Olivia's getting married, so the other main character, Olivia, yeah. she's getting married, so she wanted her hair done by her. They're, they know each other because that's her stylist. stylist. But she was like, "I don't do uh, wedding hair," and she's like, "Please, please, please, there's an emergency. You save my ass." And so they started hanging out. Yep. So now she's like getting attached, like this was Olivia. Like, no, she's, she's my well, best friend. She's, she's obsessed. She's like, she's um. I guess the best way I could say it is she's at the point to where, like, had she been a guy, police would have been called a little, police would have been called multiple times. <laughs> or he would have gotten beat up by her brothers. Yo, yo, she, she showed up after work. And she was like, how did you know where I worked? She came out with an excuse of her ass. She told me all the time, remember? Which was, was crazy. Like, yeah. I mean, the thing is, because she was so obsessive and so, like, just, uh, she, she followed probably, her. She stalked the shit out of her. 
Well, not only that, but I'm sure she. Well, yeah, probably that. But I'm sure if if the girl told her one time where she worked at, she probably memorized it. Oh, now I know where she works. Oh yeah. Now I know where she Cause lives. She, yeah, because she fixates on whoever her victim is. Yeah, I'm just like. But she oh. really liked this one though. I that, that that's the she confusing part at the end. She really did like her, but then she was like, all of a sudden she got a cart and she's like, I want to admit something. I'm not this person. Like she wants really a, a acknowledgement, but then it cuts off. Yeah. Th then the end happens. We'll talk about it after. But yep. I'm like, why? I'm like, what the fuck happened there? If she was going to do that anyways, why say, tell her the truth and everything? Just, <laughs> I don't know. But you never know what she said to her, though. You know what I mean? That's Maybe true. She... I wish they did. I wish there was like, uh, they showed that scene in a way. But then but... I don't because it is, I like how it's played I out. love the mystery because you could, you could go anywhere with it. You can go anywhere yeah. with it. You could say she told her the truth, and then there was a scuffle or whatever. You could say whatever. Because then the other one is like, "Walk, get out of here." Yeah, I don't yeah. want to be, like a big argument. She's like, "Never mind, mm -hmm. I want to be you, bitch. I'm getting married." <laughs> yep, it was oh, fucking crazy. No, it's a good. Uh, yeah, my wife enjoyed it too. She really enjoyed oh, nice. it. She ended up rooting for the girl. Remember the part where she where she breaks into the chick's house? Yeah, <laughs> and, <clears throat> and she like knocks over one of them. The wet, like the little wedding things you put on the table that you give out to the guests. One of them falls on the floor and gets stepped on and broken. Yeah. And uh, what else does she do? She's like looking at cars. She just like she gets into this chick's house. Basically, she gets into this chick's house by stealing her key that was hung up. I forgot yeah. how she got that key, but that was hung up at her house or something when she yep. was over the one night they were hanging out. And she stole her scarf. Deep and nasty yep. bitch. She ended up returning the scarf and the key too. I guess technically. But so here's okay. We can get into the vibrator part around this part. Yeah, here we go. Actually, That's you know what? I was, I was like, you know what? Wow. Hold, on, hold, on, hold, on, hold on. Before we get into the vibrator, before we get into the vibrator, let's spin the wheel. Let's spin the wheel. First. There we go. Let's do this. See what a little discussion we have for the next movies coming up before we get into the vibrator because uh, that that uh, leading up to that scene is just is just in itself crazy. <laughs> But uh, you'll, see, yeah. you'll, you'll you'll hear us talking about it. It's one of those scenes to where, let's just say, if it was on a specific site, never mind. I see what you're saying because, like, <laughs> you watch it in this way, you're like, "Yo, she did not. That's nasty." But then you're right. But the other way, you're like, "Yeah, okay." I know exactly what you're talking about. If it was a different site, yeah, yeah. But I know what you're saying, but yeah, so, but uh, like you said, the leading up to this scene. Oh shit! It's either gonna be universal or found footage, which is a fucking win. Fucking yo, that both ways win. Oh, it's found footage. I mean, there is some more I gotta add on there from that up there you go. spot, which I will. All right, found footage. Yeah, I'm excited. Let's see what we got on here. I think I just pulled shit out of my ass. Or did you make this wheel? Uh, I forget. I think I did this one. Oh, okay, because I don't remember. <laughs> Certain movies like <coughs> Creep and Grave Encounters; those are both one and twos. I just put them together as for one episode. Oh yeah, that's right. You did add that. That's right. Just to make it uh, now make easier. You, now, did you pull most of these off Shutter? Uh, I think so. Okay, I don't remember. I th I got creep from you and I put it on this wheel. Is it Grave Encounters? Oh hell yeah, one and two. Those are so fucking dope. I watched those. Okay, so so we got to do a double movie for that. I did these. Um, for instance, we have to watch these again. I think I did these yeah. as a watch party a few months ago now. Mm. And these uh, movies are no, they're good. They're good ones. They're fucking <laughs> yo. Good's an understatement. I couldn't wait to watch and review these again. So I'm excited for those shits. All right. Three encounters. One, two. I'm saving that on the list. So, I don't... so we got another spin? Yes, sir. Or are we just doing those two movies? Okay. So both movies, right? Yep. yep. So those two will be for Tuesday. Yes. Get that shuffle. <sighs> Yeah, there'll definitely be some more movies added to this whenever I get around to it. 
never get enough found footage. Candle of Holocaust. I've never seen that. Nope. Found footage 3D. Oh, creep on it. Wow. No, <laughs> that's a wow. 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 That's a first. I mean, we we barely have this on here, but still. You know what I mean? Like that's two oh, double shit. features in one week. Nice. Okay. I never seen creep. I don't think. Me, I've never seen. It. I know it used to be on Netflix for a while. I don't know if it still is or yeah. not. I, think I heard they were, I, good, I heard they're pretty I, creepy. Yeah, I think I heard on TikTok someone said it was creepy. I so. am excited. I'm ha- I'm actually Sweet. happy with these next few movies. Oh, me too. These um, two of them, movies. Two of them I know for a fact that I enjoy. I'm not even gonna lie to you guys. Like, I've seen oh, I, I told you I like them too, and there's two reasons because it's a it's a, a double feature for me. It's found footage and paranormal. Fuck, and it's oh my god, it's so fucking. Yeah, I, I awesome. can't. Like, I I, I want to talk about it now, but I'll just wait. No, nah, we gotta wait. wait. We gotta wait. Yeah, because like, that's gonna be up. Oh my god, I'm so excited for that shit. I'm so excited. Like, I know. And here's the thing, right? <laughs> here's the thing, because me and James were just talking about this the other day, um, <clears throat> about. Like we can't wait for it to hit the uh the witch call wheel again. The Universal, oh, the Universal Monsters. Well, I'm so fucking happy it hit when it just hit, yo. Oh <laughs> yeah, found footage, man. Found footage I sat down for the longest time. Like I didn't know how many movies were found footage. I always look for uh, haunted houses, yeah, demon, vampire, werewolf movies, zombie movies. Never thought about this until we reviewed a couple. Well, Blair Witch. The thing is, when Blair Witch came out, I didn't know that was called the found footage movie at the time. Okay. I just that's, thought it was a witch movie. So that's fair. But then I found out what found footage is. Then we watched a we reviewed a couple. I think we re, uh, reviewed a movie called Afflicted. Oh yeah. That, yeah, yeah. that was a found footage. And I was like, yo, found footage is like that I see in Grave Encounters. I was like, okay, these found footage movies, there's a fucking uh, the October one was it called? Um, uh, uh something Alpha October. Va- yeah, there's so, that. That's yeah. like a that's a found footage, man. Oh yeah, there's so many. There's and there's like so I many. Well, and like I said, I'm, I'm gonna grab some more off of uh, Scream Box. Nice. All right. Because there's like there's there's just a list of them there. So I'm just gonna grab them as long as it's not already there. I'm just gonna grab them all. Why not? There you go. Why not? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. This is a good, that's a good wheel. And there's one I know you're gonna want to pull from, which I won't. I won't say it out loud, but you already know yeah. it. You already know what it yeah. is. And I'm sure yeah. you already looked at it about forty-seven fucking times. <laughs> we'll get to it. Don't worry, dude. We'll get, get to, it. to it. Get to it. But uh, all right. So, so back to the back vibrator scene. Yes. Let's 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 uh, let's take them to, through the whole part. So she gets there to. Just, right? I already told you she's going through stuff. Closets. She goes drawers. upstairs to the closet. She goes through her drawers. She goes through her closet at first. She takes off her, her dress and puts the girl's nightgown on. Yep. Where's goes her through, nightgown? Yeah, go, going through her drawers, like going through her panties and all this stuff. Um. <laughs> now she's starting to get in the groove like she's her. She's starting to yeah. feel like I'm Olivia. And she was just doing all this shit, and then she goes through her drawers, and she finds a vibrator. <laughs> yep. <clears throat> no, I don't know the names of it. I don't know if it was a rabbit. I don't know if it was a bullet. I don't know what the fuck they called that one. It was but about this one. big. It was silver. It. Let's just call and it a bullet. It. And uh, let's just say she uh, she used it on herself. She we used it on herself. That, that we don't was have to wild. get too graphic. You know, if I had a Patreon episode, I'd get very graphic for you guys. We're not going to do it here. But she used it on herself. And, you know, I wasn't mad. My wife said it was nasty, but I didn't, I didn't really now, say anything. Because here's the thing, man. That's like a, a version of a man wearing another man's underwear. Uh, no, no, not as sexual. But, like, a, you know what I'm saying. But it's because, for one, she don't know. If she cleans it. sharing a condom. She probably doesn't want her to clean though, because she wants the scent to be like with her. She wants her juices, wow. her dried up juice to be with her. That scene was crazy. Wants her clean her. Yeah, but again, if it was on another website, would it have been crazy? No. 
There's a question out there for the people. All the females. No, no, no. Don't do it. Don't, don't even <laughs> ask that shit. No. Absolutely no. Uh-uh. We're, we're better than that. We're smarter than that. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Oh, uh, uh, shit. Whew. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, Lou? How's it going? Styles. We're this, talking about a I, fucked up scene. I'll, t- I'll tell you this, Liz. I do recommend this movie. This chick right here is bad ass. She's crazy, but she's bad ass. She, uh, I mean, she's a. Uh, I like her. I like her. I don't know, man. She's fucking out there. Well, I wouldn't trust her. I mean, I wouldn't hang out with her or nothing. She but. spaces out. It's on Shutter. Uh, it's on Shutter. It's also on Tubi. If you don't have, Shutter. oh yeah, you're right. It's on Tubi also. Yep, free to Tubi. But it, it's it's really awesome, and some of the, the colors really, really, really stand out in this movie. Yeah. Really stand out in this movie. Pretty good actor. And if Liz, if you didn't know, if you haven't been watching uh, the past few episodes, we have a new wheel. It's basically women killers. Oh, it's called uh, Mojadas Locas, which is crazy women, psycho women. But that, that, listen, in my defense, because I'm the one who came up with this wheel, in my defense, um, besides the fact that I love you know, trouble. <clears throat> no. On Shudder, you go to Shudder, they have a category called Psychotic Women. So, you know, I put a little flavor yep. on it. So. <sighs> yep. But so far, so good with these two movies that we reviewed. So far, yep. so good. Like, these women are crazy, which I'm loving. Because it's, it's, it's what you want from... That category of a movie you want to see crazy. Mm-hmm. You want to see crazy. Like you want, you know what I mean? You don't want to see like how would I put it? I don't know. You wouldn't you wouldn't want to see sane. You wouldn't want to see sane. Like a normal slasher? Yeah. No, you need you need the you need the, the girl if she's good or bad, you need her to be crazy as shit. Just let her go. I'm trying to think of it. Was April Fools the original, the main character woman, and she was killing people, but found out it was a tr- prank. It was a prank, but that could have went with this. That could have went with this, though. I feel. I love that. I wasn't even mad that it was a prank. Me either. It was. It was well done. That, that would have been a fucked up prank. We had a, We we talked about that for a while. Oh, that was we were great. talking. We were talking about like how would you react if that someone did yo, that, that to you? Yo, that that that. Uh... Dude, if I was fearful for my life for hours and hours, it depends on how long. For a while, you're getting your ass kicked, and we're not friends no more. It depends on how long we were friends. Dude, um, that is harsh. That's like hardcore. That's the only way you get away with that if you know your type of friends. If your friends are into crazy pranks, dead, I understand. But if you're normal, it, just chilling, don't prank each other. No one pranks you. And someone did this, it's like fucking it'll scar you for life. Oh yeah, this would be too like this this would that type of prank would have to be someone trying to outdo everybody else from the previous times. Like say every say so say it's like oh you know what every year we'll have teams instead of doing them one by one, we'll just make it easy. We'll have teams of the April Fool's prank at the and we'll just go to the same cabin every year. And we do you could do something whatever every or we'll go to a certain destination every year. Whatever, or go to that same spot. I don't. I don't fucking know. I guess real that's quick, real quick about movies like that. So when the, all the movies where you got a group of friends, like camping, whatever, mm-hmm. haunted house. Here's the mistake. Real life. If this was real, oh me, Pennywise. You got a Chucky shirt on, James. Oh yeah, I got I got Chucky. Yeah. Oh, that's dope. Japanese too. Yeah. But uh, well, saying uh, group of people. Here's the rule: real life, you die if you separate. All stay together, because that prank would have fell apart if everybody stuck together. Yeah, 
because she had to single people out to make them. But anyways, yeah. Oh. Yeah, Pennywise, man. You know, okay, by looks, well, no, I can't say that. It's more creepier. I think the new version, the newer version of uh, it, the Pennywise is better than the original. Yeah, I do too. Because I'm going to get a tattoo. Of, I told you about my horror characters. Mm -hmm. I'm going to put Pennywise on there, and I'm using the newer version. I'm not going old nice. school with that one. You wouldn't want to do half and half either, right? Just to ask. No, I've seen that before, and I don't. I don't want to copy people because I think someone did that before. I, I've oh, seen yeah, that a too. People, a lot of people have done that. Nah, I, I try. I try not to copy people. I mean, everybody has. A lot of people have uh, Pennywise, but the but one I find, I don't know if someone has. Yeah. So he's going to do Pennywise in blackface. It's going to look more like me. <laughs> no, <laughs> I'm doing, doing, basically he's how it how it's lining watch. up. How it's lining up in my head. It feels like it's go it's going to be a versus arm, because I want Dracula, where uh werewolf, nice. Then I want um I was going to do it, uh Pennywise and Art the Clown, nice. So it's like versus. Are you doing like their bodies or just their head? Like no, their just it's just head. head. It's just a uh, okay. was it bust the bust of their head. Nice. So Jason and Freddy. That's gonna be dope. So it, so it's like a versus arm. Because at first it was just I wanted horror characters I love on my on my arm, mm -hmm. but then I started looking. I'm like, how they're lined up. It's like yeah. they're going against each other. I mean, it's, it's, that, it's that, in I, talks with everybody too because everybody says Jason versus Freddy. I mean, you know depending on, depending on how you have them lined up too, like if it's up and down plus side by side, I mean the verse yep. either which way. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, I can even tattoo uh, versus in the middle like a fucking. Like a game, like fucking Street oh, Fighter yeah. or something. I don't know. We'll see. I'm not there yet. I'm gonna be. Pl I'm if you, it, I would say if if you did that, you would have to. You would, in my opinion, in my in Sturdy's opinion, you would have to the, use the Street Fighter versus colored logo. I, 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 that's my opinion. That, you know I mean? that or that or I do the versus for Mortal Kombat and have the background the fight in the arena for Mortal Kombat. Oh, that sounds expensive, but that sounds so dope. Oh no, this I already know. My arm, it's gonna be multiple sessions. I'm, I'm gonna spend over thousand dollars on this thing. Oh, more than that, way more than that. Yeah, I already know it. I have, I already talked it, wife planned it, and I'm gonna do session per whatever until it's yeah. done. I'm not gonna show it really until it's done either. I'll give glimpses of people, yeah. but I won't show until the full thing's done. I'll show it online. I feel you. I feel you there. I feel you there. Yeah. Father Nat, you know, if I get one head done, and I'm, I'm gonna be like, yeah, I've got to be like, yo, you wanna see this? Yo, check this out. <laughs> I'm gonna see it. He has no choice. Show me. Yeah. I'll just text his wife. Hey, can you tell can you get James to show me his tattoo, please? <laughs> but yeah, I'm setting that up soon because uh my left arm needs tattoos, man. I gotta balance my body out. <laughs> Sorry, he walks like <laughs> this. <laughs> yeah, because the only tattoos is on my right side, man, my right arm. Because it was tattoos. I have, I have no other tattoos. So I was like, I gotta get the left arm going. But back back to the stylist, though. Like it was crazy how obsessive she got. Crazy and scary. Yeah, like, she just stands out of nowhere. Like she's friends with you, but that she wants to be you. Because it's it's almost like, oh shoot. Like if some people think that they want. I'm telling you guys right now, this is ladies, gentlemen, people out there, or whatever you identify as, and whatever you go for as far as dating wise. Listen, when that person is that obsessive, that's dangerous. You need to get the hell out of there. You need that to is dangerous. That's level oh, where they go to stalker, yeah. and it goes farther. You Rapist, get... serial killer. I mean, more than just a restraining order, because I don't think that's enough. Like you need to get, you need to just leave. You need to leave. Don't even tell anybody you're leaving that knows her, especially, and don't. It, I don't fucking know. Change your name. Cut your hair. And the crazy thing, there's people out there who are like that, though. It's like it's a mental disease. They they're not happy with themselves. They want to be other people. So now everybody has that taste. Like you see, it like a celebrity, you're like, oh man, I wish I was him. You know what I'm saying? So you have that thought, but your brain knows reality. Like it's just That's the same. Like you're just saying it. People like this, they're like, yo, I want to be, I want to be like her. Then she goes, you know what? My, the brain goes, 
So be no, her. She, yo, like, <laughs> yo, yo, she scalps people. Yeah, that's she crazy. Scalps them, peels their scalp off, puts it on her for, own fucking head. For her hair as the wig. So they can she can look like and then and then you know she ends up cleaning them up and she saves them in her basement. Yeah, how the fuck is she that good about cleaning? No cops involved, no one's finding the serial killer. (laughs) She's just that good, I guess. She's that good, that's what I'm saying. And it's yo, it's still continuing. We don't know how that shit ended. Yeah, yeah, that that's what I'm wondering is like, how did she get away with so many? Yeah, she ba- yeah, she basically gave herself away because at the end, like we mentioned a little bit, a little piece of it earlier, um, the, her, her, the other co uh, star of the movie, Olivia, main character, mm-hmm. were talking. Olivia's about to walk down the aisle, get married. She confesses. She wants to confess who she really is. She li- she's like, I lied to you. I'm so sorry. I, I don't like I don't jog, blah blah blah. Yeah, but then it cuts true. off. Then you know, it's in the church. Beauty is playing. Doors open. Here comes a woman down the wedding dress down the aisle. Gets to the groom. The groom lifts up the veil. It is fucking Claire with fucking the weird. fucking the, with that scalp of the fucking bride, and she's acting like her. She's like, "We're getting married. I'm Olivia now." She has it that crazy. You can see it in her eyes. She played it well. You can see the crazy in the eyes. Yep. Where she's just staring at the in the um, at the church and all the people, and they're running. Like you said, the little girl smile. She don't know what's going on. She thinks everybody's like celebrating and running out. Yep. She was well because she her, sure the little girl locked eyes, so they smiled at each other. Which yeah. I will say, there was a cool scene when the little girl was sitting by. You know, when everybody was going doing their things, the little girl was sitting at the, at the chair by herself, and she went to her and asked her if she wanted to look pretty, like her, you know, like Olivia and Yeah, that's that was, what I'm saying. I'm saying the normal Claire, when she's not think, trying to obsess over other people, she's a normal, nice. She's not a bitch or nothing. She's really nice, you know. I like, think she. I think she, she well, what it is, she is awkward though when it comes to people, but like she's still not mean. She just yeah, she's not yeah. She's just uh, I guess I guess you would say abandonment issues. Yeah, yeah. She for one, she thought her life was really boring or something. Yeah, and she wanted to be other people just by hearing their stories, like someone talks about, like just how they live and everything. Oh, you get kicked out. Yeah, Aaron's missing. Put him on a milk curtain. But uh, so stylist people, I recommend it. Uh, psychotic women category on Shutter, and it's also on Tubi. Um, what else? Uh, great how they uh taped it, sound, actors, it all works. Uh, while he's gone, I can give uh, there's bloopers in it, little spoofs, for example. When uh, she cuts the one girl's hair and puts on a mannequin head. And her lab, her dungeon, it's dripping blood. But then this, the next scene, she put it on her head and it's dry. There's no blood. So there's little things like that. Um, uh, another scene during the call. Co- after hours coffee shop before she's about to kill this coffee shop owner. When they, uh, the the owner lets her in, they lock the she locks the door. But then the scene is uh where the door is shut and closed. Claire leaves it just by pushing it open without unlocking everything. So there's that little spoof. Let me see if uh where Aaron is a little bit. Uh, uh, tell you what movies I'm looking forward to. Uh, oh, there I am. Uh, there we go. There he is. Uh, I, was just, I, was, I was just rambling things, man. <laughs> I, was, I was about to say what I'm, what movies I'm looking forward to watching. Uh, Pope's Exorcist. I want to see that. Yeah. You've seen it. Uh, you need it. You. I got. I want to watch that again, actually. And there's actually. 
It's on another app, though. I got to get another library card, but the app is called Hoopla. Yes, I'm going to see that Saturday for sure, for sure. Evil and Dead City. Rise, I want to see it. Yep, Insidious 5 I is coming out soon. Yes, it's. I think it's coming out this summer, right? I believe so. Then you know, later on in the year, you got uh, another remake of The Exorcist. Going to see that. that I'm reading, I'm going, like, that's why I'm listening to the I'm listening to the audiobook right now. <coughs> oh, that's what I was gonna say. So, so with uh the, with the with the Pope's Exorcist, that's basically like that that Pope is a was a real guy. And oh, that's dope. Okay. Four books on him. Now, my wife, there's an app called Hoopla. H U P U L A, I believe, or however you spell Hoopla. It's another one where you have a library card and you oh, sign okay. your card up with it, and you can get free books and Brenton free books and this and the third. And anyway, he has four books. Oh shit! Like, they have four of his books. So I'm like, I want to, I want to hear, and they're audio books. So I want to hear those. Oh, him going with, like four books of him going through a case of like uh, exorcisms and shit. I'm not sure, but it's just like his books, the books he wrote, maybe. So maybe okay. And this is a real dude. So the stories, yeah. even the books are real about the real guy? I'm assuming so. I'm assuming okay. so. Yeah. Okay. so I haven't seen this, so I don't know his name. I'm just calling him uh, uh, I forgot, the Pope's I Exorcist. I fancy for guys. Probably like <laughs> our, our father something, demonologist. I don't know. But you're gonna you're gonna you're gonna like it though. I know yeah, gonna. but I like I said, I've seen clips of it on TikTok. Not the full trailer, I just seen clips yeah. and I'm like, fuck, and I scroll it. But how how it looked, I was like, yo, I might like this a lot. You're gonna, so. you're gonna. but yeah, Evil Dead Rise. Uh, what else is coming out? Uh, I wish so much more, shit, man. A theater type of guy, man. I'm telling you, because there's yeah, so I know. Good I I guy. might go see Evil Dead Rise in theater. Good, you should. You de I'm definitely. Oh, I, uh, so so. All right, guys, I have a confession to make. So I'm going to see Evil Dead Rise Saturday. I'm excited about that. Here's the bad news. I'm going to tell you guys now because I'm always honest with you guys, right? I'm going to see Renfield on Sunday. Nice. My, no, not, 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 not nice. My wife got the tickets. Hey. She paid for the tickets. It's free. It's horror. Knock it out, man. You can do it. I have no choice. I'm going to be going. But I'm just saying. It's, I'm... I'm, I'm Nick Cage is in it, but it's, it's technically a horror comedy action movie with the, the his his uh his servant who goes and gets the people to kill for him. Renfield, and he yeah. gave him and he gave him vampire powers. Which you know it's crazy because I'm listening to Dracula, so I'm hearing them to talk about I'm hearing about Renfield in the Dracula book. Nice. Okay. So I'm, like, I'm getting some connections. So I'm gonna I'm gonna see things it, just because I'm thinking about it, watching the movie, okay. I have like six hours left in the book, so maybe I'll try to finish it. Maybe I like I like when they do stories of like the the uh the henchman guy, like the main. The side, yeah, 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 yeah. The like, under it, yeah, it's yeah, it's cool. It is because you are curious. That's what you see in the movie. You're like, yo, I wonder how his daily life is. Word. Like, where he just get back from? Like, what the fuck is he doing? Like, what is it? What does he do when he's not serving? What? Yeah, like? what are you doing? Like, what the hell does he do with every other fucking? But movie? no, I think it's cool. Yes, it's a Nick Cage movie. It's a co horror comedy movie, but it looks interesting by just by the fight scenes and, and how the story is. Like we get to see what he does for Dracula, in a sense. So it, it's pretty cool. But yeah, Nick Cage playing Dracula. I'm sure he's gonna make some weird and say some stupid shit. Weird faces. He's like, let's, like, like, like the clip where he goes, "Let's see." Yeah. Like, come on, dude. Look like a dork. I have to see this on big screen. That's the problem. <laughs> you're gonna love it. You're mm. gonna come out, you're gonna you're still gonna hate Nick Cage, but you're gonna go, love that movie though. <laughs> we'll see about that. We'll see about that. I'm gonna I'm gonna make sure that I go in there. Um how do I say this? In the best mindset possible. <laughs> Oh, did another new a uh, new horror series or movie come out? Uh, oh, the remake of Children of Corn. Did that uh, just come out? Did it? Did it finally drop? I think so. I I think I see someone saying that they watched it. I heard it wasn't I, that great, but I'd watch it. Hold on, I'm gonna look it up to make sure. Because I was gonna check it out. Of course, it's not gonna be great, man. It's like years and years after, and everybody just butchers it every time they take it, take the rights for it. You got a point. 
You have a plan, Jameson. It's kind of like um, Hellraiser, except for the newer one. I thought the newer one wasn't bad. That one on Hulu, right? Yeah. Yeah, that one wasn't bad at all. I mean, that's not it. This came out 2020. Here, where did it was Children of Corn 2023? Of course, now I can't find it. So good. Georgia Corn. Oh, released on March 3rd. Oh, so it's been out. In theaters. I don't remember that in theaters. It was probably, I think it was one of those things where it was like brief, maybe like one weekend, and then it was gone. Oh. Well, I think it was, sorry, I thought someone said Netflix. I could be wrong. Two weeks ago. Yeah, I haven't watched it yet. I still got to check it out. And Liz, no, I haven't seen the other movie either. I forgot the title right now. <laughs> I think I I feel like I put that movie on one of the wheels. I hope I did. Um, oh, Children of the Corn. I don't, I don't know if we did because I forgot about it. Honestly, when, it, when shit just goes right to streaming type one of those movies, it's like you want to check it out, but it's not in your head because you keep hearing people talking about the theater release ones. Lord of Lord the of Flies. the Flies. That's right. I keep forgetting to watch that. Sorry, I don't know why. It's like. One of these right, days, it's just one of these days. It's gonna click. It's gonna say "Lord of the Flies" and watch. Here's it. what we're gonna do. Here's what we're gonna do. Because I, I just, yo, I just typed in "Lord of the Flies" and it automatically filled in. So here's what we're gonna do, right? So next Tuesday and Thursday, we're doing Creek. We're sorry, we're doing next Tuesday. We're doing Grave Encounters one and two. Yep. Let me pull this list up. Let me pull this. Are these things up? Did I put them up here? So we're doing Grave Encounters one and two on Tuesday. On Thursday, we're doing uh, Creep one and two. The following Tuesday, Thursday, we're going to do The Darkness of the Road, and we're going to do Lord of the Flies that following Thursday, so we finally watch that damn movie. Yeah, okay, so I'm getting forced to watch it now. All right. Because yeah, Liz has been requesting us to watch that movie for like six fucking months. Being very patient. Oh. So, yeah. Liz, it's coming. It is coming for you. Like I said, in school, I swear, the days I was in school, I read the book, Lord of the Flies. Or the class was reading. Yeah. Um, never read the book. I never seen the movie though. So I never read the book or seen. The I movie. know. I know what it's about. I don't, I don't know about. if the movie how brutal it is. I don't know. So I gotta check it out. Probably not even brutal. It's probably just in two weeks we will be reviewing the movie. We'll be Lord watching it. God willing, we can find it, which we will find it. Oh, I'm sure we can find it. It's a popular movie. You excited to finally see it, James? Yeah, why not? I had nothing wrong with the book. The book I thought the book was decent. You know, what? Well, like I said, I didn't read the whole thing because I was absent a lot. I skipped school a lot. Stayed home, watched cartoons. You know, they shouldn't. Should, they shouldn't they should be putting uh, good cartoons on what like, during school hours. I can push that down after. Maybe I'll see in school. Oh, it's on YouTube. Oh, it's YouTube. Really sweet. Yes, sir. Perfect. All right. Lord of the Flies it is. Tomorrow I've got to watch. Uh, wait, I'm probably not going to. Oh, shoot. I've got to watch them tomorrow. Yeah. i watch, uh, yeah. I got to watch Popcorn and Pipe movies for Saturday. I'm thinking the same thing. Um, I have it off, so it's hard now because I'm like, oh, fuck, I'm going to be getting up doing things. I'm not just sitting here fucking watching movies. Yep, yep. So, my goal is to knock them both out tomorrow, so I don't have to worry about it Saturday. But mine too. We'll see. That's my goal. That's but always my goal now. Like if I can get them done Friday, I work from home tomorrow, so we'll see. Nice. Oh my goodness! But seriously, people, if you've never seen the movie The Stylist, you guys should definitely check it out. Again, it is on. If you do have Shutter, it's on Shutter. If you do not have Shutter, it is on Tubi. It is well worth the watch. Pay attention, man. Pay attention. I'm, keep, I'm keeping my seven. It's a solid seven. I'm actually going to bump mine up Go. to a seven and a half. Seven five. Yeah, I enjoyed it. Good scenes. Like the best scene was the uh, the scalping where they actually showed that one. 
thought that was good. Oh man, the the barber chair was one of my favorite scenes. Oh uh, yeah, that's what the, I'm saying. Well, yeah, that one. I mean, there was so many good. She was just. I mean, her stealing the girl's scarf was cool. Yeah. In a sense, because it was just like you're not expecting that. Oh, the one she had it was waking up. She'd given up with the powder. She had to stab to death. Oh, That's the first time she had to do that. From Chile. Thank you. What's How's up? it going? Hey, hey, thanks for dropping by. Appreciate you. Oh, you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna pin your I'm gonna star your comments at the top because that that's that's amazing. I greatly appreciate that. I hope you're doing amazing out there. All right. Check Jay. out the stylist if you haven't seen it. Yes, please check out the stylist. Again, it's on Tubi, it's on Shutter, and it's definitely worth the freaking watch. And watch with a significant other if you if you are in a relationship. Watch it with watch with some friends. It's but it's a good it's seriously a good movie. It's seriously a good movie. Um are you ready for uh big and uh fifty shades of gray on Saturday, James? Popcorn over on popcorn. Big, 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 fine. But these shades, no. I'm in the middle. I I love the movie Big. We'll see what happens in Fifty Shades. I like Big. Uh, don't get me wrong, good movie. But the other one, don't care. Never seen it, but didn't don't care about it. Yeah, you know. We'll see what happens. We'll say maybe. Hey, maybe I'll like it. We'll find out. Maybe he'll learn something from it. That's what he's gonna say. Yeah, maybe he'll <laughs> learn exactly. I'll hit pause. I'm like, oh, let's rewind this. How do you do that again? <laughs> hey, you just tied his shoe. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. I'll just practice it, just in case. You gotta rewind. How do you do that? Like, I never see it, so I can't joke around how harsh it is. Not like, yet. I don't know. Like, he's like oh, throwing, throwing her to just, walls and shit. I don't know. I don't think it's gonna be that crazy, but I guess we'll see. Anyway. I'm sure there's choking. Well, that's normal. That's- and slapping and stuff. Uh, that's you know what? <laughs> Whips. Oh, it's mid. It's mild. It's mid. Gotcha. Well, I just remember when it first came out, people were like, <laughs> "You hear talk in the background." And I was like, "I can't believe they put that in a movie." Yeah, it's we'll, we'll see. We'll see how it is. We'll we'll, we'll be the judge of that. We'll, then all of a sudden. Then all of a sudden, Rihanna's song is like number one on the charts. S and M. You know, I'm sure we'll have a nice mature conversation on Saturday about that. With me and oh me. shit! Both Chris's, but at least one of them. But we're gonna get on out of here, people. So uh, make sure you uh, tip your style as well. Don't tell them too much. Yeah, don't tell them your life. Don't tell them your life. Don't let them know where you live. Do not stay in the salon past regular salon hours. Don't drink the wine. Just go and get your hair cut, shut the fuck up, and go home. Get the hell out. Yeah. That's basically it. That's what I learned from this shit. If you don't shit, learn, yeah. I don't know what to tell you. I don't know what to tell you. Yeah, your stylist could like your life and want to be you. Like yeah, you know, you this, disappear. This this is this seems like it's one of the things where you're just you're just saying too 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 much, letting people in too much, and then boom. Trying to warn you. Keep it short and sweet. Thing is, this could really happen. And I'll I'll say in a sense maybe, but not as not as smooth and as easy as she. Oh, not as smooth. It's gonna be a serial killer style. No, they're gonna call her the stylist because she's fucking scalping people's head and keeping it. Find when they get caught, finds all the fucking uh, scalps in a basement. Yeah, I mean, hold on, fucking mannequin heads and shit. I I I feel like the thing would be though, it'd be hard to pull that off. To where, like, say, even in the salon the first time, then cleaning up every single thing, including the blood, the body. Like, hey, there's there's people fucking hatch up bodies and clean up the blood pretty well. Still though, so it's and that, but but just imagine if she's doing that like every night. Like, remember the other the other chick she killed inside the uh, the coffee shop. Mm -hmm. Uh, The thing is, why don't she drug her drug them enough where she can get them home? Before she does anything, instead of scalping them first, then bring them to her basement or that shed, wherever the hell that was. I don't know. Yeah. 
because you didn't hear about body found in barbershop, barbershop murder. The girl went missing. That means she got dragged out. She took the body somewhere. She did something with the body. Yeah. So, I don't know. Good movie, though. <laughs> it really was. Now, they're like, what the fuck did she do with the bodies? Oh, no. No, it's one of those like, perfect name in the category for uh, this type of movie. Yes. Psychotic woman. Yeah. Yeah, Super she fucking... Crazy. She she lost her mind, went nuts. You know, this is my wife's favorite character. I don't know if I should be, you know, should be worried or what. She said this is her favorite character. Yeah, she she started sticking up for her towards the end of the movie. Damn, like, man, you better watch when, out. When they were running out, she was like, "They're so rude. Why are they running away from her?" Don't don't ask her to give you a touch up. Not, not at all. Well, you know what it is. You're like no. stylist cutting blades, Spanish. I get it. Mm, I got you. Yeah, yeah makes sense. Yeah. But it this no seriously though people check this movie out. Um, I had a good time with it. I had a better time than I thought I would at first. The way it started, kind of sort of. But once it started getting into it, then you kind of see how her character was. Then like, oh shit, this is interesting. It almost makes you want to see more of her character, like before she got to that point. Like what made her get to that point? Mm. Almost. Yeah. Even if we see, like, if they have it build up for, say, the first, say, the movie's an hour and a half, say, for the first hour, you get that, and then maybe the last half hour, you get a couple kills, or at least one really good kill, you know what I mean? You get at least one or two kills, then it kind of goes off into the next movie. You think this is one of the movies where they should have left it where it is, or should there be a part two? Ah, oh, man. Because now she's not secretive no more. A whole church knows she's a murderer. Mm. So it's going to change the whole style. Yeah, but everybody knows they can get her. I guess I guess you just leave it at one. I I think I'm with that. I think they should leave it like this. Don't make a because because if you do a part, I like I don't know if they are or no. I don't know. I'm just the only thing you could do is put her in a psych ward. I feel like that's been done so many times. Exactly. That's what I was going to say. It's going to end up if there's a <laughs> and she starts off if she's in a psych ward. Yeah, on top of that, wouldn't really make sense because if she's in a psych ward and they have her, you know, medicated or whatever, they're going to probably keep her like that. And it's like, who's going to come and check up on her and ask her about something and this, that, and the third? Because it wasn't like there's was anything paranormal going on, unless they mention it with the with the freaking. The only way they could do it, which I feel like would ruin it, is if they do it with the remember the remember the mannequin head. The one with like the goldish eyes, I believe. I think yeah. it was like a blackish mannequin head with goldish eyes. That one, if somehow somebody went in that basement, found that mannequin head, and then it started talking to them. Or they could make it where because they didn't show Olivia getting murdered. She did have the, her scalp. But what about they made it where it starts off she's in the uh sale sound because that's what it's gonna be, because she's crazy. And she sees a news thing is like a year later or something like that. Oh, survivor of uh, this, 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 and it's Olivia alive, Ooh. and she sees her, and, and she wants to get out to finish I, the job to kill. But, but the way that family was screaming, the one that ran out to the yeah, no, yeah, you, you, you're going with she's dead. She's yeah, gone. but I'm saying you never know. They could have got the ambulance in time, stop <laughs> the bleeding, maybe. Because we don't know she got stabbed or anything. She just. He, got knocked out. You know what's crazy about this, though? Don't you think? And again, movies after movie, but let's let's let, let's slip it up on this for a minute. I know movies after movie, but right? Imaginary family, right? Something happens to your imaginary family. I feel like your imaginary family member after you, your imaginary family sees that imaginary family member gone, your imaginary family and you, your imaginary self, are going to go up there and whoop that person's ass, right? Stomp them to death, literally. Oh, yeah. Not just... Everybody just, like, ran outside. I'm like, it was just her that did this. You guys can... Uh, okay. Well, I get they freaked I, out. I, They're like, I, oh, I, my I God, both, what the I hell? get both sides of it, but I also get, like, that quick... Like... Oh, like the groom. If I was to, I would murder. Yeah. yeah. I feel like it would have been more than just him, is what I mean. Oh, probably her family, like the father, brothers, or something. Yeah, but I get both. Again, I get both ends of it. I get both sides of it. I no. really do. Crazy. But I'll show you guys again what movies we are doing for 
Tuesday and Thursday of next week. And then we'll get out of here for real. Yes, you guys yes. Unless you guys know, you know. So, again, Grave Encounters 1 and 2, which we've both seen these movies before. I've seen these movies fairly recently, mm-hmm. either the end of last year or the beginning of this year. And, I, and when I seen them, I watched them uh, like a day apart. Because I found out, someone told me, there's like, you know, there's a part two. I was like, what do you mean there's a part two? Yep. And I went right at it, watched it. And then Creep 1 and 2, which I... Never seen these. Never I seen heard them. these were good. I've never seen either one of those films. Are. The first cover, the regular, the first Creep, kind of looks like Michael Myers standing on top of the stairs. A little bit, a little bit. But then the second one, it looks like there's a uh, the Creepy Priest. But I'm excited for it. I'm excited for it. And uh Yeah, should be good. Good episodes. Make sure you guys go to horrorresearch30.com where you can see and get to all of my links. Also, come check us out every Tuesday and Thursday at eight o'clock Eastern time where you can see us reviewing some horror movies, having some random horror chats and some fun. And then catch us on Popcorn and Pints every Saturday night at nine o'clock Eastern time where we review two movies and try to get see how these two movies connect in our own weird, strange way or ways. This weekend we have Fifty Shades of Grey and Big, or as we call it, getting big with Fifty Shades of Grey. Hope you're there for it. Make sure you guys check out the whole entire Z network <laughs> and all of that amazing content. And again. Remember, getting big with Fifty Shades of Grey. Or Fifty Shades make makes you big. Nine, nine o'clock Eastern Time. Fifty Shades of Grey makes you big. That could work, too. You're going to get big with the Fifty Shades. Who knows? I don't. You don't. What I do know is I will, I will see you in your nightmares. You have a great night. Peace. Oh, and check out the stylist. Siri.